as I'm sure most of you know, you can play original PlayStation games on both the PS2 and also the PS3. So in this video, I thought I'd show me playing Formula 198 on the PlayStation 2 and on the PlayStation 3, and also to have a bit of a toggle around with the settings because there's a couple of different settings for the speed of the disc and the texture smoothing on both the PlayStation 3 and also the PlayStation 2. And here you can see I'm running the PS2 and already you can see a problem. David Coulthard's head has been cut off <laughs> in the top left corner of the screen. Here's the game running on the original PlayStation and as you can see, no such problems with the uh, David Coulthard <laughs> driver image there. So you can see I'm just going through the menus, going through the drivers and there you can still see now Michael Schumacher's head has been cut off. And this is running with the disk speed set to normal on the PlayStation 2. So it's going to take pretty much just as long as it would do on a real PlayStation console. And so here we go. Just cycling through the cameras very quickly so you can get an idea of how the game looks. This game doesn't look particularly good anyway. And I thought it would be a good test subject to show you what the difference will be when you play it with some of the additional settings turned on. What difference it actually makes. So what I'm going to do is park in the middle of the track here under the Melbourne banner, the Australia Melbourne banner. And as you can see, it's very pixelated and very blocky. I'm just reversing back a little bit there. And what you're then going to see is me go back to the PlayStation 2 startup menu, the browser screen, and go in and change the settings for the PlayStation. As you can see here, PlayStation driver, texture mapping to smooth, and I'm also going to set the disk speed to, to fast later on in this video. So at the moment, we've got the texture set to smooth, the texture mapping. As you can see, it's loading through the game again. And back to the menu again. And as you can see, we've still got the problem with David Coulthard's head being cut off <laughs> in the menu. So I'm just going through and setting up another session at Melbourne, Australia. So you can kind of see the difference between how it was with no texture mapping uh, enhancement switched on compared to actually having it set to smoothed out. So again, we'll just wait for it to load. And this was being run on a PlayStation 2 Slim console. Not sure if it makes any difference. And via RGB SCART. I know you could run it via component as well, but I decided not to for this video. Just stick to RGB SCART and here you go. Here's the same footage, if you like, as before. Me cycling through the camera views, but this time with the texture mapping set to smoothed out. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I can notice a bit of a difference. And now we're going to pull underneath the Melbourne, Australia board again I'm going to park up underneath it so we can have a good look and as you can see the smoothing out has actually made quite a bit of a difference to the Australia part of the board there part of the sign board it doesn't look quite as blocky and quite as pixelated so it definitely makes a nice difference and you can see I'm just having a bit of a bit of a mess around now <laughs> just so you can see how everything looks and we'll start a race so you can see what the start of the race looks like it doesn't look too bad does it on my original PlayStation, you'll see the footage again towards the end. On my 5.2, it does the same on my 1002 model. You're going to see the screens flickery. You're going to see lines that sort of flicker across the picture randomly. And I don't appear to be getting that with the PlayStation 2, which is interesting. And yet, as I said, just mucking about off the start of the race here, crashing into other cars and then crashing into the wall. So now I'm going to switch the disc speed setting onto fast. You can see we've gone back to the menu. Go back to the PlayStation driver setting, change the disk speed from standard to fast. And now we're going to let this run and I'm going to show you side by side the standard speed up against the fast disk speed. Look how quickly the game loads. You can see already we've got a progress bar that's shooting along the screen on the fast disk speed setting. And of course on the standard disk speed setting it's still some way behind. And we're already at the menu and I'm already going through and making my changes. 
we see there's quite a bit of difference. And we'll just go through and set up another little race. So qualify, yep, off we go. And there is a reason why I'm actually continuing on with the disc speed set to fast, which you're going to see why in a minute when we actually get to playing this. So we'll begin. Again, the loading time is going to be much shorter. You can see we've already got the, the track preview. I'm not messing about with this video at all. This is completely standard. The PS2 is just set to the disc speed of fast. And here we go. Again, all seems fine so far, doesn't it? So again, we'll just blast off the line, go around a couple of corners, and I'm going to deliberately crash the car. And there's a reason why I'm going to do that. And you'll hear why I'm going to do that. So here's what happens with the disc speed set to fast. It completely balls up games that use, if you like, digital audio or data audio, I should say. The commentary is completely messed up. And here it is again <laughs> for the start of the race. Because the disc speed is set to fast, the commentary is messed up. to the PlayStation 3. So this is running through my 60 gigabyte backwards compatible PS3. Notice that we don't have the David Coulthard problem of the picture being cut off at the top there. So obviously the PlayStation 3's emulation of the original PlayStation seems to be that bit better than it is with the PS2 because I'm sure the PS2 uses some form of emulation which is why you've got that graphical glitch that we saw earlier. And again just going through selecting Michael Schumacher, racing in Melbourne, Australia so everything would look the same. And the good thing with the PlayStation 3 is you don't have to jump all the way back out to the main menu to change settings, whereas with the PS2, you have to go back to the browser screen, back to the PlayStation driver option to actually change the setting of disk speed and texture mapping. With the PS3, to change the texture mapping settings, you don't have to go back all the way back out to the cross media bar main menu. You can literally just pre press the PlayStation button, as you'll see me do, and toggle the setting on the fly and it just works, which is awesome. So I've paused the game, going into the menu by pressing the PlayStation button and I've already got the screen smoothing switched on. So allow me to just quickly turn that off. I didn't realize that I already had it on. And again, you'll see the difference. Things look a little bit more blocky, a little bit more pixelated. And we're gonna drive underneath that Melbourne board again. And there you can see the Australia part again is blocky, it's pixelated. We'll switch this back on again, and it smooths it out a bit. So that enhancement doesn't look too bad on the PlayStation 3 running an original PlayStation game. It has to be said, it doesn't look too bad at all. And the game performs pretty well, so the emulation of PlayStation games on the PS3 is pretty damn strong. To be honest, it seems to work really well. So I'm just changing the controller settings so you can see as well you can change between having a standard digital controller setup or the actual analog controller mode if needs be which in my case I prefer to play this game with analog it's a must really with the way the steering and the acceleration and braking is and so I'm just going to drive here for a little bit just so you can see how the game looks and how it performs it seems to perform well doesn't look too bad I've just lost my front wing and crashed the car again. So to finish this up, just going to show you some footage of it as it is on the original PlayStation captured from my SCPH 5 via RGB SCAR. Thanks as ever for watching guys, hope this has been a little bit interesting for you guys to see and I'll catch you again soon.
concentration and stay out of trouble. Past the McLaren of David Coulthard. Hacking and leads. 